Did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Rude. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Mazora's always worth hearing out. That's what makes her so dangerous. We'll have answers soon enough. Mazora's gone to camp. We should speak with her. Until then, May my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. Whatever business Will has with Mazora, it will cost him dearly. Or worse still, it will cost us. I hope we can afford it. Mazora. I take anything she says with a grain of salt. But with her claws as deep in our business as they are, I guess we can't ignore her completely. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. I had no wish to lose Will, but my, it would have been nice to flush her into the colony's flesh pit. A devil will come for her, Jew. Mizora is no different. Whatever it is she comes to offer, whatever choice Will makes, someone will suffer. Count on it. Our camp houses an imposter, then. Say nothing. Trust no one. Not even me. I don't relish the idea of Mizora visiting our camp, let alone offering us anything resembling a <laughs> deal. When the devils start approaching you, you know you're in deep. So, we have a uh, shape changer at our camp. Hm. Good luck finding her. You could watch out for anyone acting strangely, but, well, you know the lunatics we camp with. Will ought to know what happened with Mizora. Whatever she has in store for him can't be good. An imposter in our ranks. If this is true, it could be anyone. You, me... Well, not me, I know who I am. Perhaps we shouldn't take Gortash's word for granted. But if he speaks the truth, we need to be careful. Orin could have eyes and ears on us right now. Mizora schemes with Will's very freedom. He deserves to know what she is up to. A shapeshifter infiltrating our number. 
Like a cuckoo creeping into the nest. Hmm. A dire threat, if Gortash indeed spoke the truth. King Hank, your deception ends now. I shall cleave the truth from you like flesh from a doer. Stay out of this. She is mine to purge. I saw her. She slipped into camp in the form of a woman and shifted into this abomination. She tried to silence me and hide her deception. I didn't do anything! Gortash warned you of this. Then there is nothing left to discuss. Say your farewells, Nevukrim. Perhaps if I remove your eyes, You'll see things as they are. Look at it. Father's favorite, all lost and wandering. Have you forgotten the way home? <laughs> Should I set your lapdog to screaming? That could help you find the way. Lordling has been whispering in your ears. He always knew how to tumble and twist your mind matter, leave you knotted in his cords. Gortash betrays us, bloodkin. He sets a leash to our slaughter, uses us to drive the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill the tyrant, smear him across his rock-rotten halls, and pluck the netherstone from his carcass. Then we jewel the sweet slaughter kin. The winner claims the stones. Ball's true chosen. The loser rots on his altar. Agree? And I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. So, this was Orin's intention. A combat against a fellow scion of Baal. Witnessed by the Lord of Murder himself. Accept, and you must kill Gultash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. No! Filthy lies! He waits for me to carve domination into your ravaged skull! He will grind your meat in his jaws. But first, first, you must make Gutspill of the Tyrant! Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the Lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, Bone Killer. Come to my temple before you turn Gortash to Carrion, and I will ready your friend's corpse to greet you. <laughs>
Baal is waiting, Slaughterkin. Do not disappoint him. What, what happened? No, I'm not. I'm not ever safe. Ever again. That bloody shape-shifting freak! No one takes my gith Yankee and gets away with it! The great Orin the Red tugs your sleeve, sulking for attention. She might come to regret it yet. Lizelle will not break easily. But Orin will only enjoy her work the more for that if we give her the time. You almost pity Orin, taking Lazelle like that. Give her half a chance, and she'll rip out the shapeshifter's spine. Damn it all! We've got to get Lazelle back. If that means killing Gortash, nothing would give me greater pleasure. We can't just let Orin take one of our own, even if it's Lazel. We have to rescue her, or kill Gortash in order to win her freedom. Will Orin truly free Lazel if we slay Gortash? I'm not so sure. A rescue may be in order. Lazel was a formidable addition to our party. Our odds without her are diminished. We should consider Orin's terms carefully, however distasteful we may find them. Adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Holy hells. You do not call upon the sisters. They come when the hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. 
bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Miss Aura, you asshole! Chew. Damned wretch! Father... Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. God. I spent seven years choked by Mazura's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. It's a tantalizing prospect. How better to protect the frontiers than as a Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate? What evils can I vanquish with the flaming fist at my command? Presuming, of course, the people can stomach the sight of these God's damned horns. The leash has been broken and my father left for dead. Tomorrow I celebrate my gain. But today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a moat of tranquility. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city from the brain. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Not exactly, but it's only a matter of time. Don't be too hard on Will. I'm sure he carefully weighed the pros and cons. Pro, freedom. No more pact, no more hellbound soul. Con, killing off his own father, Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke, and forever altering the city's future. I would have done the same thing in his shoes. But what do I know about heroes? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. The nine hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. 
The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Correct, I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel, but those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead after all. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. I did not know Duke Ravenguard that well. But I am sure he would not want his son to become slave to Zariel for his sake. I am sure Will knows that. But we would do well to remind him when his days grow dark. Hope. The very hook from which these devils try to hang us. I have no answers. For you or for Will. But if Mizora means to linger with us, I mean to find out if devils do indeed sleep. And just how heavily. Will gave up his father to have freedom. Hmm. An understandable decision. Sacrifices must be made after all. Especially if the old Duke's fall means his rise. Will sacrificed his own father to be free of the pact. Remarkable resolve, if you can harden your heart. The Night Singer would approve. Time and again, Will's plight reinforces my decision not to pursue the path of a warlock. It's one thing to make such a sacrifice in the pursuit of such a pack, but to do so in order to escape one, truly, it leaves you with nothing. Will sacrificed his own father. A hard choice, but not one that is unknown in nature. At times, a seedling must strangle the very tree that bore it, if it's to survive. <laughs> <laughs> 